Hey guys, Brian Owens Army here. I'm here to do a review on a gun, so let's get right into it. So the gun I'm reviewing today is the Regent BR9. This is the stainless steel version. It's just a high point clone, chambered 9mm obviously. Clear here. Comes with two magazines. One sitting in there. Mine came with two grips. These nice black grippy grips. Grippy grips <laughs> and wooden grips. The wood grips are pretty smooth, but these ones are really nice and grippy. So I'll probably be shooting with these. So let's take it apart. It takes down just like a standard high power. So just drop the magazine, it's already dropped. And then just uh, pull the slide back. You want to pull it back and then push the safety up in this indent right there. And then push this out. And this just pulls out. And then hold the slide so it doesn't come rocketing off. And pull the safety down. And that's basically it. Here's the spring. Just pull it out. The barrel. And that's it. Very nice quality. So let's put it back together. Drop the barrel back in. Get your spring. And there's going to be two sides. So, pretty sure this goes towards the bottom, like that, and then just slide back on, and put the safety latch back on, that, that groove, and this just goes back in, this just goes right back in, and then drop the safety latch, and that's it. Mine even came with the manual. Came with a, a gun lock, a cleaning brush, and I'm guessing another cleaning brush. This is how it looks with the wooden grips on. I think it looks good, but I personally like the black ones myself. So these are also pretty smooth, even though they have checkering on them. The black ones are just a lot more grippy, so I'm just probably gonna shoot with those. Wood does look good. It does take standard high power mags. 13 capacity, obviously, these ones are. I plan to probably buy a couple 15 rounders, see how those run, but these are good for me right now. Let's get to the shooting footage. So I just got back from the range, and I have to say, I really like this gun. I put 200 rounds of Winchester white box through it, and it fit absolutely perfect. No jams or nothing. One thing I also did was I removed the magazine safety. It improved the trigger pull by a lot, and it was just overall a, a good upgrade for high power. Let me know what you think about this gun in the comments down below. If you don't care about the history of high power, and just want a good shooter, I highly recommend this gun. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.